Hello, my name is Sarah. Welcome to the It's a Sarah podcast. Today is Monday, June 27th, and this is episode 32. I'm coming to you from the Netherlands, so excuse my Dutch English. My name is Sarah, and you can find me as It's a Sarah Everywhere, although everywhere. Um, on U- YouTube, here, and on Instagram, and on Ravelry. Um, yes, I have a blog in Dutch, but I'm not active there. If you understand a bit of Dutch, you can take a look, but it's uh, it's quiet there. Um, yes. I love to talk, I love to knit, and I love to crochet, and that's the perfect combination for a podcast on YouTube. I tell you about my crafting adventures, my handwerk perikelen. Every week uh, I make an episode in English and an episode in Dutch every week. Today, um, I never plan my episodes, I never prepare them, um, but I do make notes um, often on my laptop or on my... um, in my uh, uh, knitting book, in my uh, in my crafting book, uh, but uh, the laptop we have two laptops and one is broke, uh, broken and it's uh, uh, in the store for reparation. And the other one is with my so- son, my eldest son. He needs it for his schoolwork. Um, so no Google Translate today to save me when uh, when needed. Uh, you always save me afterwards, so I trust on that. Uh, so when I'm struggling and uh, can't find the right word, um, read the comments because there are always lovely people who uh, who know uh, who which who which who know <laughs> which word I mean. Yes, I guess that's what I want to say. Um, uh, I also hope I don't forget anything because um, I have to tell you a lot, but I have my knitting work. It's only knitting today, I guess. Mainly knitting. Uh, Yeah, only knitting. I have my knitting work next to me, so they will uh, help me through this episode. They will guide me, (laughs) guided by my knitting. Oh, that sounds heavenly. (laughs) I love that. Okay. Um, I have two finished objects today. Two! Two! Do you hear? I have two finished objects today. Um, and I want to show you um, some work, uh, works in progress. I want to tell you a little bit uh, again about my um, uh, It's a Sarah Flora make-along because I now know how to say cacti. <laughs> I want to share that with you. Um, and I want to tell you what, what my plans are. And... Um, Yes, I guess that was all. That's all, I guess. Yes, that's quite a lot. Um, my, uh, I love short episodes uh, for for thirty minutes, and um, that's mainly because um, they um, matches perfectly in my daily program. Um, when an episode is longer than thirty minutes, I uh, usually you can't watch it in one time. I love watching episodes in one time. Uh, and my goal is every week to make an episode about 30 minutes. I never get 30 minutes. I'm always over it because I love talking so much. And I know there are uh, a lot of people um, uh, who, I don't know to use who, who, which or who, who, I guess, who, who. A lot of people who. A lot of people which? Nee, who? A lot of people who enjoy uh, large, uh, longer episodes because longer episodes mean means longer crafting time, longer knitting time, longer crochet time. So I, I do this all for you. But um, when the day comes, I make a shorter episode. It's uh, 
I, I would be happy to. Okay, um, let's start with what I wear. It's uh, also a finished object, but let's start with my Hydra headband. It's a dark yarn. It's uh, actually my woolly winter version. And um, it's not quite matching my outfit today, but I um, uh, ch ch chose this headband this morning. I always wear a headband and I chose this one because I absolutely need a summer version in in summery yarn and i want to use this yarn and that's quite a reminder that um there will be a day when i have a matching headband by this new uh, top by this new camisole um the hydra headband is from fiber tails it's a lovely pattern but in the dark yarn you can see the details on camera as good as i want it i want it but um uh, it's uh, absolutely um, an aanrader. I uh, would absolutely recommend it. I guess you say it that way. Okay, and then my biggest success uh, and, and biggest frustration also from last week is this new knitted top. It is um, the home camisole um, uh, designed by Kadri. And uh, it's a test knit. And oh boy, I told you about it last week. I struggled a lot with this camisole last week. It was, it's, it's not the pattern. The pattern is easy, easy and clear, and it's, it's all good. But it was a combination of, um, I guess, my yarn choice, um, my knitting skills, and um, my perfectionism. And it uh, it was quite heavy to work through this. It cost me so many hours. So let's start at the beginning um, uh, when I replied to the test knit. Um, I saw uh, quite some nice camisoles at Kadri's uh, Instagram account. And one of them was the Remy camisole and I'm knitting it uh, also. It's in this uh, bag. I will show you um, later. I knitted uh, didn't knit a stitch on it the last week, weeks, um, but I absolutely loved that camisole. And I, um, I replied to Sabina or Sabrina, I forget, I'm sorry, but to Kadri, Sabina, I guess it is, Sabina's test knit uh, list, because um, uh, I, I love the idea of it. So I uh, get, got an email a few weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, uh, with the new uh, camisole and um, uh, I replied that I would uh, take part of the test knit because the actually date uh, mentioned by her was um, in 20 Ju July 20th something about one month um, uh, but um, that was a mistake she meant June and um, you could say oh I don't make it and it was absolutely okay but um, uh, I uh, love a good deadline now and then so I uh, and I thought I would have enough time to do it. So I um, I jumped on the testnet train from uh, for the home camisole. Um, the home camisole was a quite a basic uh, camisole with an I-cord um, edge. You don't see it in my camisole, that's the whole story. It's all about the I-cord edge. Um, and um, yeah, I loved the basic part of it. Um, all stockinette, um, yeah, that, uh, that. I, I couldn't start immediately, so and that was quite um, comfortable as a test knitter because there they there were some test knitters um, who who which I don't know the difference between who and which is which a thing and who a person I don't know. There were quite a few test knitters who already. Uh, okay, who al who already? No, that sounds not natural. Which already? No. I don't feel it. They already um, checked all the notes and all the, uh, the, the, the their, they had feedback and um, I only had to knit the top. That was all because it was all uh, okay. The pattern was uh, was perfect and um, um, I didn't have to do any abbreviations. No, no, that's not a word. That's uh, adjustments, Sug suggestions. <laughs> Then. Oh gosh, this will be a hard one. Um, okay, so I knitted and I knitted and I was quite uh, interested. And my yarn choice, um, I already told, but I will show it again, was Holst Coast. Um, Holst Garn Coast is a, uh, an, a mix of 
55% lamb's wool and 45% cotton. And it feels quite light and, and lovely. And it's a light fingering yarn. Um, light fingering? I guess it's even a lace. A lace weight. Uh, but I uh, someone suggested ho uh, holding holst double uh, in the test knit group. And, uh, and I... Uh, I held this double and I made a swatch and it was okay. So uh, I love the color and it's the color mushroom. And um, this uh, would be my go-to yarn. And I'm very, very pleased about that. But um, uh, when I was knitting, it wasn't knitting. It, it was, Holst always looks quite a bit messy. And um, my uh, experience with, um, mixed yarns wool and cotton is always a bit a bit messy not a straight um regular no regular is not the word no, the, the, the not a, a um a perfect fabric it's a bit messy um this was also a bit messy i knitted it uh, english style and it takes it cost me some extra time because i'm changing um but it looks uh, better i i will show you something interesting later with my next finished object um and uh, but it goes uh, uh, much slower than when i knit continental so that was already taking extra time um but uh when i finally reached um uh, the end of the top i did an eye cord bind off at the bottom and then you um was supposed to uh, pick up stitches on the arm uh, holes and on the neckline it's a perfect V-shaped neckline and it's the same at the, on the back. Oh, I don't know if you can see at the front. It's, you, it, it, it's, um, it's the same. It doesn't, you can ch turn around and um, it doesn't have a front and a back. It's, um, uh, I, I don't know the word, but um, you know what I mean. So, um, I was struggling, yeah, the, the eye cord at the bottom was rolling up, but I uh, I guess that would be um, uh, solved when uh, I blocked the top. And uh, picking up the stitches was quite hard for me. I think when I blocked it, it would be a little easier, but I um, had the idea I had no time to block it. Deadline was last Monday and uh, last Sunday I had all the time to knit on it, but I, I, it cost me so much extra time to pick up the stitches neatly and I uh, watched several tutorials on YouTube and there were moments I uh, felt, oh, now I'm getting it, now I'm getting it. I, I'm, I had, had never had, picking up stitches is not my favorite, but it was also not a big problem. But I don't know, it was the combination of the yarn, the stitches and, and my perfectionism and it Maybe because it was a test knit, I don't know. I was struggling so much. Um, so I did uh, picked up the stitches. I did the eye cord bind off uh, on my armhole and I did the eye cord bind off on my um, neckline. And then um, when I um, tried it on, I saw this armhole was way too wide. Uh, I want to wear this uh, camisole without, uh, I do have a, this is also a camisole, a tee, I don't know. I do wear it under, but I want to wear it only with my bra when it's uh, quite hot. Um, and it was, you could see my bra, t yeah, too much, way too much. I don't uh, liked it. Um, so um, uh, the stitches were also, I picked up all the stitches and it was a bit um, a bit messy. It was too wide. It, uh, it was not a nice fit. So I uh, thought, let's take uh, less stitches on the other uh, armhole and let's see how that looks. And I can always rip out that one and do it again, <laughs> again and again and again. And I, I didn't get it. I didn't like it. I, I did like the pattern from the pictures, but when it was on my body, I, oh, it was not. Oh, I was not feeling it. It, it, it didn't make me happy, and it was quite annoying because I put so much time and effort in it and um, there was a point I thought I don't want the eye cord I don't I do want the rib ribbed edge but I was struggling with the fact I was a test knitter and I didn't feel okay with um, uh, ignoring the pattern and do my own thing but uh, I do love to do my own thing so it was a bit of a struggle and uh, I didn't t I didn't tell Sabrina Sabina uh, I, 
now looking back i i wished i did because it made it a lot easier but there was a moment i saw on our instagram she had 48 test knitters and i thought oh 48 hmm maybe it doesn't matter when i uh skip the i could bind off and do my own thing and later we get a form she mailed a form uh, you can um uh put all your um information about your knit in and there was also um, um, a part wh which you can uh, uh, describe your adjustments did you adjust anything uh, at the pattern and I th that two things um, were enough for me to think oh maybe I do uh, can I I do it's a good idea to go my own way. So I skipped the eye cord I ripped it out but there was one problem I um, I had uh, weaven in all my ends already and I did it quite neatly and quite uh, uh, yeah, good but uh, unraveling the weaving in was quite hard, so hard. I never weave in ends, well, I will never weave in ends anymore before I um, am absolutely sure it's perfect. So only the unraveling uh, of the woven ends, the weaven ends cost me also too, so much time and I um, made a mistake and I unraveled my my stitches from the stockinette and there was a big hole and it was not okay that was not meant to be unraveled it were, had nothing to do with my eye cord bind off it was the base of my knitting and there was no way I could pick the stitches up, uh, up and and uh, and fix it um, but uh, there was a way I did fix it I guess it's on this side um, when I picked up the stitches for the ribbing I skipped let's see oh no it's the other side oh yeah I um, sewn it by hand and you see here a lot of fabric a bit of bumpy stitches and um, uh, my top was getting injured by my uh, by my mistakes and um, I, the, what I did was picking up stitches um, um, not on the uh, side of my knitting but actually in the middle so you can you didn't see this it's on the in the inside and it looks neat and the on the outside and i also picked up stitches uh, in the middle on this side so it looks uh, similar similar that was the uh, word i was looking for for the front and the back are similar yes okay so um when i tried it on while knitting uh, i was um immediately immediately quite happy because i saw this fit was more my thing my ta taste my cup of tea i love two by two ribbing and um it's uh, it's uh, it fits quite good uh, i picked up all the stitches um didn't um count i didn't uh watch uh the recommended stitches amount of stitches uh the pattern set but i picked up all uh at the place where i thought there uh, must be a picked up stitches to avoid holes and 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 stuff and then when I, all the stitches were on my needle i checked the recommended amount of stitches in the pattern and i um uh, i i i'm not sure if it has to be um the uh, door you have to I don't know the word uh, that, that you have by four Dele. no I'm not sure but um, that you can make two by two rip um, uh, so um, and I uh, was absolutely sure that I, the armholes armholes were both the same um, I also did that on the front and uh, on the neckline, the front and the back. And I did find the tutorial. I want a nice uh, shaping in the V, uh, V, V neckline in the V. And I found the tutorial. I will link it down below. Uh, it's um, it, it's a quite um, uh, a knitter with a quite a big Instagram account, but I. I'm not sure what her name is. I'm sorry, but I will link it up. And see, there there were several ways when you uh, uh, look on YouTube. There are several ways, but I love this one. And the only thing it's a bit open here, but um, you uh, increase 
no decrease you decrease stitches every row and um, that will make you get a nice uh, shape but um yeah you can see uh it's a bit open between i'm not sure i i guess i did it uh, right but i'm not sure but it's not bothering me and i also did that at the back then uh I blocked it and it was um, nice to see that my uh, blocking worked out pretty well. <coughs> my fabric, yeah, it came together and um, uh, I love it. It's still a bit uneven, uh, but that's um, the character of the whole coast, I guess. It feels perfect. It's I, I want to feel <laughs> myself all the time. It's, it's soft and it's not prickly. I can wear it on my skin directly, although there's quite a lot of uh, wool. It's lambswool. I don't know if that is, but I love it. And I, I, I'm I, curi curious um, if it will be uh, uh, warm on a hot summer day because the part of wool in it. But we will see. It's, it, today is quite a rainy day, uh, but the temperature is perfect for this. And it's. I can see me wearing this in winter also, like an extra layer uh, of wool under your... Uh, a warm vests and uh, cardigans and sweaters so i'm quite happy with it the only thing um uh, oh, oh, i'm not sure it's really a, a finished object already because when i put it on this morning or at this uh, yeah an hour ago um maybe it's a bit short i knitted uh, quite some extra already but uh, i will stand up so you can see I uh, love it to, to tuck in my skirt and it's actually, you can see, it's a bit too short to tuck in and uh, really, so when I wear it this way, yeah, now it's a bit, a bit folded because I wear it, uh, I don't love this, um, maybe on um, my jeans it will be better but it's quite short, but I, maybe I will unravel the ribbing, I have to... <laughs> I have to uh, find some courage for that because I'm so glad it's a finished object. But uh, I will um, knit uh, one inch extra, a few centimeters extra. So when I put it in my skirt, so I tuck it in, I can, it's it's now, it's here's the end already. So it's actually a bit too short, but I like this way. Um, and um, I want to wear it uh, uh, without um, a T under it and my, uh, my, my stomach. No, not my stomach, my belly. I don't know. Um, it, I have had three children, and they they left their marks on my skin there, and that's that's okay. I'm abs absolutely perfect. Perfect. I'm absolutely perfect. <laughs> I'm absolutely okay with that, but I'm not comfortable with showing my um, my belly skin. I don't know if it's the right word uh, to the world. Uh, I don't know. That's not. Um, that's not. That's not necessary. So the length now. When I put my arms up, you will see my um, my uh, a bit of my skin between my uh, camisole and my skirt. And I don't like that. I don't feel comfortable with that. So I guess I will knit a few centimeters on it, and it also will be. Um, uh, better uh, looking better on my jeans so um that's quite an easy uh thing to do so i uh, i guess i will do it i have a lot of uh, i have used two of these and this one this what i used i didn't weight it already i will do that um and make a project page when the pattern is on uh released i guess it will be uh, this Wednesday, I'm not sure, but um, uh, when the pattern is released, I will make a project page. I will make pictures. I will uh, weigh my uh, camisole, and um, I will describe my uh, adjustments, my uh, my ribbing edge, and I will put a link there to the tutorial for the for the V uh, shaping, and you can find all the info there. So I guess it will be Wednesday. Um, but uh, I want to knit an, uh, a matching headband, a matching Hydra headband in the leftovers for, from this yarn. So first I have to um, knit a few centimeters extra and then I will knit a headband also held it double and uh, I think it's perfect. So it was quite a thing. I put all my knitting time, all my knitting time. Can you imagine how many times I ripped out and did it again? Um, 
my discipline and my willpower are very, very big. And that's, that's nice to know, but it was quite frustrating that all my knitting time went into this top and into this camisole while I was thinking that it will, would be a quick knit. It is a quick knit. It is a DK weight camisole. It is a quick knit. You should, uh, you can knit it. You should, uh, you should can knit. Should can knit. I, that's not a correct uh, sentence. But it should be done in quite a, um, a few time, I guess. Normally I would, but um, this time I don't. But nevertheless, I'm very happy with it. It's uh, the pattern is very clear. I love the style. And oh yeah, I want to. I almost forget when I told Sabina um, I did a ripped neckline instead of a uh, of an eye cord uh, neckline. She said, "Oh, but I was doubt. Uh, I doubted about the uh, about the etching." And I asked my followers on Instagram, "Should I rip or should I eye cord?" And um, there was a small amount of of a small percentage. <laughs> Nine is not a word. Uh, um, uh, the, the, her followers choose for the eye cord in the end, but it also, also was a small different difference. So she uh, she quite a liked uh, my choice uh, for the ribbing. So that was uh, that was good to hear. I should told her earlier that uh, would make would have make my week my knitting week uh, quite easier. So the home camisole. Pattern by Kadri coming next, nay, this Wednesday, 29th of June. Um, absolutely a, a relaxed, fun knit. You knit um, four triangles. You started here. This time I did use a provisional cast on with my Remy camisole. I didn't because I thought it was hard. I'm very good in thinking that, uh, that, that things are hard, but it was it's so easy. The provisional cast on, cast on is so easy. You knit one triangle and you knit the other one and then you pick up the stitches and you knit the third and then the fourth and then you join in the round after a few rounds and you knit 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 and then you bind off and that's all and it's the perfect perfect fit perfect uh, size for me i um knit the i the yeah, let me think. Size small, I guess. I'm not sure, but you can also find that on my product page when it's ready. Um, and uh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. And when I was knitting last week, I, I thought I will never make one of these camisoles again, but I will do. But because it's the per this is the perfect um, piece in my summer wardrobe, it is. Um, uh, a neutral color, a neutral model. It's it's there's nothing happening. Not uh, um, a pattern or or colors or, or, or whatever. But I love the fit. I love the 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 simplicity of it. And I I I think I will wear it a lot. I, and, and yeah, it makes me very very happy. So it's a good end. <laughs> in the end. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yes. The home camisole. But I have another finished object. I finished it, uh, yeah, right before I started uh, filming this episode because I wanted to show it. I wanted to finish it. After all this time, all my knitting time, um, put it in this camisole. Uh, I, um, I was so looking forward to pick up my other projects um, and um, knit on them. And first one is my Avina. Um, it is finished, but uh, there are stitch markers in it and, and there are uh, ends on it because I've learned from my um, uh, camisole, do not weave in the ends until you're absolutely sure it's perfect. And I'm not ab absolutely sure right now because it hasn't blocked, hasn't been blocked uh, yet. So um, now, what was the thing? Uh, <coughs> I told you about earlier. I stick my Avina uh, because I'm not a high neckline sweater person, but I did love, uh, do love the pattern. I sticked it and I knit a color, uh, but it was way too large. The color was way too large, and um, I was. Uh, it was. Uh, it reminds me, and someone told me uh, how I can say it. It reminds me of a traditional sailor man with a big white collar in white and blue, but um, it, it didn't feel okay. Okay. But I, uh, ripping out was kind of hard because I made a stick sandwich and I made it all the way through the color. So it wasn't just uh, ripping out some rows, no, it was ripping out all the, 
the, the, the button bend and the stick sandwich and do it all again. So um, after all, I did. <laughs> And, and it's finished now and I will show you, I'm not quite sure, it was quite hard to decide how many rows I uh, must use. Um, I did knit 50 and now I did 38. Uh, actually I want to do 40 but <laughs> I want to finish it before um, uh, uh, filming this episode. So I did 40 and it isn't blocked and that will be uh, when it's blocked it will be it I can um, see if it's how I want it to be and um, I already have seen that when it had it has no color it's also okay it looks a bit weird now but it's also okay and that um, uh, is nice to know because when it didn't um, uh, become as I want it to be. I always can rip it out all and then I have quite a, a nice uh, cardigan. But um, I prefer the colorway. Not the colorway, the color. The colorway. I prefer it because uh, I can wear it closed and I do have a, um, also a kind of a v-neck. Oh. Um, yeah. And I uh, I do uh, I do love this I do, I do love it when it's open. Uh, there are a few things. And first of all, I should have picked up the stitches. Um, the neat way, the the good side of the work is here, but I should have done the good side here because it always falls open and you you never see. I I don't think I will wear it this way. I don't know. No, it's also a high neckline. I maybe in my uh, when it's very cold and in my uh, in my coat I will wear it this way. But uh, so, so I uh, should have done that different. But it's not bothering me so much. Maybe I will embroider uh, some nice line. But first let's uh, let's see how it will be after blocking. And the other thing is the the yarn I used uh, for the button is dark yarn, and you also see a dark spot here. Maybe I will with the leftover try to cover it a bit i don't know but the most interesting part of this is i don't know if you can see it on camera but um i knitted this whole cardigan uh continental style because i did that um when i knitted uh, beginning 2000 this year 2022 um i also knitted um started knitting the color in um uh uh no, no, I have to say it right. I started knitting the color in English style knitting. Knitting English style rib two by two was quite hard. It, the movement, it doesn't flow and uh, it didn't flow and I have to practice it. So I, I do practice it. But uh, after this camisole, I, my hands were longing for an easy uh, knitting job. And uh, knitting two by two uh, rib stitch. Um, uh, continental is one of my favorite things to do. It flows and I feel it and it's it's oh it's so relaxing. So um after this all the problems, all the trouble I had with this, I uh I said to myself, you may finish it continental. And um I can see the difference quite good. And that was very interesting. I asked my daughter uh, my 15 year old daughter, I said, uh, can you see a change in this? And she immediately immediately saw it, um, although she's not a knitter. Um, so I hope, maybe, I, I, I guess you can see when I hold it. I guess you can see, here it is. These stitches are knitted English style and these stitches are knitted continental. And these are dancing. Do you see they are wobbly? They are... These are straight and these are dancing and uh, they're they're going all the way. And um, this part looks quite more messy than this part. And it was so interesting for me to see that difference in I have to see, in the light when I hold it. So you, it's hard to see, but so this way. Nice and straight and dancing stitches. And for me, it was so interesting to see the difference be between um, uh, continental and English for me, because when uh, I knitted um, a, 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 a ripped top for my daughter, a pink one, continental, and I'm also knitting my Remy camisole, but I do it English style. And it looks so much better to me, but I, I, I Doing it, doing it in one work is uh, is quite interesting, but I I am very curious 
will this be blocked out? Because when I looked at the bottom, you can see it's also two by two rib. And the cuffs, they are also two by two rib, but they these stitches aren't dancing. These are straight. So it's quite uh, exciting to see um, how the uh, the blocking, uh, how the stitches will be after blocking. Will they will they will they get straight or not? And it's quite interesting to know if the, and to see the difference. I don't bother the difference in this uh, cardigan. Um, um, I um, it's it's okay, it's okay. But um, it's uh, important for me to know in other projects. Uh, does it make a difference, or um, is it after blocking these? Uh, ribbing didn't look quite straight when I knitted it too, but I was okay with it. I I I only want the re relaxed feeling about knitting in my uh, preferred style. But after blocking, it looks quite neat. So um, it's quite uh, interesting to know. And I love this detail. Do you see it? I think I used I the, you call it uh, Jenny's extra surprisingly. Surprisingly stretchy bind off. I don't know, but uh, I love this detail. I only only knitters and crocheters. Uh, it's not good on camera, but it uh, doesn't. It's okay. Oh, I love this. But I will block it out. It's also um, this yarn. It's the same yarn, but it looks quite more yellowy than. Um, uh, here do you see it? It's more yellow than that, and it's the same. It's the same, and it's undyed. So um, I'm. Uh, I'm also uh, uh, excited to see how if it will um, uh, washed out. Um, I don't know. It's it's lanolin maybe. I don't know. It's quite non superwash um, yarn, woolly yarn from a, from a little farm. My parents-in-law bought it for for at first for my mother-in-law herself, but they gave it to me and I'm very happy with it. But I don't know exactly what it is, but it is wool, 100%. But I'm looking forward to uh, the blocking party for this one. I will put it in my blocking uh, top uh, uh, after filming this episode. So that were my two finished objects and that um, uh, now I can focus on my uh, other works in progress. I will not show them all to you. But the first one I will work on is my um, shawl, my easy peasy garden stitch shawl. Um, because I knit it for a friend, uh, her birthday, uh, her birthday was last week, but um, she will, uh, her party is um, uh, in two weeks and I'm a last minute knitter and it, oh, I'm, it would be perfect when I finish this a week before because um, I can block it, I can show it in my episode and I can um, wrap it in a nice paper and I can put it on my desk and um, when the party is I have no stress and I just have to put it, <laughs> don't have to take it and it's ready. Um, and mainly when I'm knitting a present the, the day before I must knit, oh it must be ready, it must be ready and that's okay, I know it, it works for me but um, it, it's, it would be nice to uh, to, the, <laughs> to have the, the other feeling for, for once. So um, I knit it with Long Yarns Cloud. Uh, it's um, it's a merino wool. I have to Long Yarns Cloud. It's ninety percent merino wool and ten percent polyamide. Uh, it was uh, gifted to me by Long Yarns. Uh, I worked for Long Yarns. I still work for Long Yarns for two or three days. Um, I um, uh, make made made pictures, photos for their social media, but I quit that job because it was time, it was time to spread my wings. No, no, that's not, it, it, it was, it, it was my time to go there. And I, the, the, it's a very, a very nice company, very nice people and a uh, lovely yarn, but um, uh, time to go for me. And that's absolutely, absolutely uh, perfect. Uh, but I do have a lot of yarn from Long Yarns and it's all gifted and I uh, I could keep all I wanted and <laughs> that uh, that's all uh, uh, sorted out. And um, these uh, these colors are not quite my colors, I guess. Too bright maybe, I don't know. But I knit it together with a Fildar mohair, silk mohair uh, in a red-brown color and that makes uh, very nice fabric 
with color but also with a bit of a brown glow a bit muted i guess um my cable is too short to show it but i um i make a big uh, big easy peasy garter stitch shawl i also knit this continental because in garter stitch i started english style but i ah, uh, it's uh yeah it, it was relaxing uh, more relaxing to knit it this way and uh, it's nice um, uh, to see the colors change i have my notes on my ravelry page so you can see how many stitches i ca cast it on i don't remember it anymore and how i do the shaping it's easy peasy easy peasy but it's also nice for scrappy yarn or yeah i think it's it, it, it would be a bit too boring for me to knit this in one color but it's uh, the model is perfect and my plan is to knit up this is the second ball a second uh, skein of uh, of cloud and my plan was to knit this up i have to see how uh, how big the shawl is and uh, maybe i will do an eye cord bind off with this one maybe with another yarn i uh, i uh, will see but i will uh, i will make a, an uh, eye cord bind off and then uh, it's ready so um it's nice to have it finished next week i don't know if it will can i do i have the time i guess it's an easy peasy uh, uh, knitting work. So my focus will be on that. And after that, when that's finished, I will, um, I have, oh, I forgot, always forget to say my, about my project bags, but I have so many lovely project bags. Um, this is my Remy camisole and oh, I didn't touch it for quite a while. But oh, I want this camisole. I do love, it's two by two rib and I do love the fit. I, I did fit it, I'm only a bit, uh, it's only like a bra uh, length now, but uh, I do love uh, the fit. And I also do love the yarn, it's Long Yarns Norma, it's also gifted. And it's, um, um, oh, I don't have a label uh, right here, but it's tensile with cotton. Uh, so no wool in this and um, it's very soft it's very uh, it feels very nice and it's brown and my favorite color is absolutely brown so with this top and uh, and this top this these camisoles i also have um my secret little crop from jesse may i have three summer tops and uh, i always feel i want them all i want them all i want them in all colors i want i want this one in all colors in in brown and in gray and in pink and and in scrappy uh yarn um and and this one also and and that one also the the other one but it also felt quite um good to think you have three knitted tops three knitted camisoles and that's enough for this summer you can make yourself yourself another one next summer but you can also i i my heart uh, i want to knit color work i feel it i want to knit color work and also want to knit sweaters and we are going on vacation uh about one month four weeks um and i uh I am thinking about uh, my projects for then, and it's always a bit of a balance between um, easy projects and challenging projects, but we uh, are uh, going to camp for four weeks, so I have quite a lot of knitting time, um, and I, uh, I, I, I have so much... Um, I'm so much looking forward to knit for autumn, so a lovely warm cardigan or sweater. So we shall see, we shall see. The last thing I want to uh, share with you is um, is this basket um, because this is my cacti basket. I have a cacti basket in which I put all the yarns, all the leftovers and all the yarns uh, in the cacti colors. <laughs> And so all the <coughs> greens and browns and and some red and pink for the for the flowers. I told you about my idea for a make along last week. I uh, have crocheted, um, not knitted, only crocheted quite a lot of cacti uh, uh, cacti. <laughs> I will say it all the time, cacti, 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 but it, uh, they were all gifts. No, um, I don't have one for my own and um, uh, I want uh, uh, some crochet and knitted plants for my own. So I uh, got the idea, uh, maybe I could make it together with some people and we could uh, do it in a make-along. So I... Um, I told you about the It's a Sarah Flora make-along in which you can make uh, plants 
um, whatever you like. So you can crochet them, you can knit them, you can embroider them. I don't know, I don't care. Um, uh, just for fun. And um, uh, you can use the link on hash uh, the hashtag on Instagram, say it right, um, to uh, mainly to do uh, inspiration. And that was my uh, main, main goal. Uh, share your things or watch the hashtag for inspiration. So um, it will start, I will start, you can start right now if you want, but I will start Friday. I have two working um, things, work stuff, which ends uh, uh, June 13th. Uh, this, uh, so this Tuesday, so Friday, I will start with my make along and I will start to make uh, my own cacti. And um, I put some pictures uh, on my um, episode from last week and um, I saw in my basket that I have a lot of tiny uh, terracotta pots. I, I want a big one too, but I first I, I first want to uh, use what I have. I also have some egg uh, from the thrift store. How do you call it? Egg? You can put your eggs in it. Oh, it would be lovely to make some some cacti. A little easy, tiny cacti in a uh, cactus in this one. But I will uh, use uh, my stuff first. So I will first start to make with some tiny uh, uh, plants, some tiny cacti, and then um, I will um, go to the store or to the thrift shop, I don't know, for a big uh, pot. Big pot. Um, there are lovely patterns. Um, I saw in Dutch there are a few nice books full of uh, patterns for, for cacti and other plants um, and online there will be uh, more, uh, quite a lot more I guess but I uh, for my uh, cacti I don't use a pattern it's pretty important for me to do what I do I have a, a sort of recipe for the for the uh, for the bottom for the um, uh, for the bottom, for the brown, how do you, for the sand, for the earth, um, uh, uh, and I will share it on a picture uh, with the hashtag. Um, but I count for that, and then I I play, I play, I do something. I have some things uh, that work pretty well. But my problem with patterns uh, for amigurumis, do you say it that way? For for all the dolls and the animals when you are crocheting them. People make so many lovely things, but when I follow a pattern, it never beco becomes what I want it to be. And I um, discovered when I crochet my cacti and I, I can make it the way I want it to be and um, a pattern uh, doesn't help me. So first I will try all the things I already know and uh, all the things that work out for me and maybe uh, when I feel, feel the need, I will uh, looking for a book uh, with patterns or whatever. But um, when you want to join and you need patterns, there are a lot of uh, to find. Uh, but you uh, don't ask me. <laughs> I don't have any. Um, okay. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. This Friday, I will settle on the couch with my uh, basket and I will uh, finally make myself a cactus yes okay so yes that was it um thank you for watching this episode oh i want to do recommendations oh i forgot um but i can do it by head because there are a lot of uh, um podcasts i watch but um the two i will mention right now will be quite um familiar with you i guess but uh, um, yeah, I guess everybody knows them already. When you watch my episode, my podcast, you you have heard about them already a long time ago. But I love to uh, watch uh, Kia from Kia's Boat podcast. She was um, uh, my inspiration for doing uh, making two episodes, one in my own language and one in English. Um, she does it all for, for years now and uh, and I love that idea so I uh, she was my inspiration for uh, for this uh, for this way so Kia's boat podcast I love Kia's style I I love uh, Sweden I, um, I I I visited Sweden when I was a little baby but I don't remember that anymore but I I guess I would love that country 
um, and I love her style, her knitting, and also the way she um, does her own thing, um, uh, her own designs, um, so, so creative. But I'm um, when I started knitting, it was all so hard for me, and I don't understand, didn't understand what I was doing exactly. And um, now I'm knitting for quite a few years. I I feel I can go my own way and uh, I have the the knowledge to to um, uh, to, to choose my own things or to make my own things I can knit without a pattern and um, she's also a, a inspira an inspiration uh, for that so Kia from Pia's Boat podcast and let's see um, ah of course I also love Rebecca from the Crea Bea uh, podcast um, Rebecca lives in Scotland, but she, uh, I, I want to ask her what she did. She, she lived in the Netherlands and she, she speaks, no, she understands Dutch. She speaks it for a little and I hope to speak her, uh, to, to talk, to speak her. <laughs> oh, I'm struggling. Um, I hope I can speak with her one uh, time and, uh, ask her about her Dutch story, but, uh, she, um, she has also a nice uh, podcast, a very long one. She uh, made very long uh, episodes. Um, so I watched her episodes in part. And um, I'm loving her. Uh, she, she is designing her first pattern and I'm loving it. I, it's not, um, uh, I, I don't think her um, neckline is my piece of cake. It's it's quite high, but her stitch pattern she chose. Oh, my heart made a jump. So, um, the Crea Bea podcast uh, also on YouTube. Okay, you can find all the links to all you want to know down below in the description box, in the, the show notes, I guess. I hope you um, enjoyed this episode. I do enjoy uh, talk to you about my uh, knitting and uh, no, only knitting today. And I also love all the comments you leave and um, uh, I read everything and once a week I will sit down with my laptop and reply. So maybe it takes a few times, a few, uh, a bit of time when you hear something about me, but I uh, try to keep up with it. And um, I will enjoy my knitting. It's raining here. It's the perfect, perfect knitting, knitting weather. So uh, I will see you next week. Bye bye.